Hey everyone, this is Kai Wehner with Confluent and I want to present you a demo about generative AI together with data streaming using Apache Kafka and Flink deployed in Confluent Cloud as a fully managed service. From the AI perspective, we will use Langchain with Python code and the large language model of OpenAI. And the use case is that we connect to Salesforce via change data capture so that we can generate information for the sales rep about specific new leads to help them with generative AI. Kudos to Karsten Mützlitz, who is a colleague of mine, who has built this demo. Again, the use case is about supporting sales. So we are connecting to Salesforce CRM with Change Data Capture and Kafka Connect and ingest new leads directly into Kafka in real time. From here, we use the data and correlate it first with Apache Flink so that we augment and enrich the data. And after that, we can use this enriched data and ask Langchain and the large language model to help me with sales. In the end, I want to do cold calls and I need guidance about what to talk to this new lead. And this is the main idea. And with the large language model and Langchain, we will generate a summary two interesting facts about the lead, a topic of interest, and two creative icebreaker so that we can initiate a conversation and a cold call. Under the hood, we are using different technologies to scrape Google and specifically LinkedIn so that we can get information about the lead and help the large language model to get the right context to help me generating content to connect to this lead. Here's the architecture of the demo. It's really pretty simple, actually. So on the left side, you see the Salesforce CRM. And as soon as a new lead is generated with another marketing tool or any other interface, in real time, change data capture consumes the data from Salesforce and ingests it into a Kafka topic. From the landing stage here in the end, we process and enrich the data with Flink SQL. So this is entirely running in Confluent Cloud. So both Kafka and Flink are fully managed so that you can only focus on the infrastructure by building the, the, the logic, right? So for the Salesforce integration, this is with configuration of the fully managed CDC connector to Salesforce. And for Flink, it's just plain NC SQL that you execute and can directly deploy into the serverless Flink pool. And you also only pay as you go here when you consume, then you um, pay for the consumption and processing. And after we have the enriched data about the lead, we will send it here to the top, which is in the end a Python application built with Langchain, which is a really cool tool which provides agents and prompts so that you can have a conversation with the large language model, which you see here in this case, we are connecting to OpenAI. And we are feeding the right context from the enriched Flink query. So in the end, an updated information about the lead and other relevant information into the large language model from OpenAI. We are using SERP API here under the hood in Langchain, which is in the end a Google search API together with proxy curl, which is another um, scraping tool in the end, which searches information from LinkedIn. So this is all built into one single platform here. And this is in the end an application running with Python in a container. And after we get the information from OpenAI via Langchain, we feed that back into another Kafka topic. And from here, we can do further processing with that. Either we can send the information directly to the sales rep via Slack, for example, or an email. We can even do automated, uh, automated cold calls with a tool where we generate speech. Or we can also update some of the data in Salesforce with another connector. So the, the opportunities are endless, right? You get it into one Kafka topic and then from there you use it as you want to use it. So this is in the end the architecture. Now I want to show you the GitHub project. As you see here, um, this is an open GitHub project. You can take a look at that. So this was built by my colleague Karsten. It's pretty straightforward also to set this up because um, these services are fully managed and you can use the free credits. So Salesforce has a free developer account. With Confluent, you get free access to both fully managed Kafka and Flink. And with that, it's pretty easy to build this demo.
It's built with Terraform, so it's really in the end one command so that you can start everything and then um, keep it running. The only code I want to show you is um, the specific Python application where we create the icebreaker. And here you see this is Python code and um, we import a few different APIs. Um, first of all, Confluent Kafka for the producing and consuming um, with Python into Confluent Cloud. Including the schema registry, this is important for the data contract and API. And, and, then, they, and then with the data governance that you can use on top of that. And then we here we see also the imports for Langchain and uh, for, for the LinkedIn scraping. So these are straightforward uh, scripting tools that we embed into this single application that we will execute in a minute. So it's a really cool demo and really easy to use. Next, um, actually I stay in the browser. What I want to show you is the setup behind this in Confluent Cloud. So here we are in my cluster. And actually, as you see, I'm also using the free credits here, right? So you can play forever with $400 that you will get for free. Um, and in this case also, it's not about big data. So here we have very limited um, throughput. And you see here four byte per second because it's only creating content when I click a button. So you can play around with this for weeks without needing to pay anything in the fully managed service. And this is a pretty cool starting point, I think. So let's now get into the cluster that we have running here. And again, in the demo, Terraform started all of this. So I didn't do a single um, coding or config in this uh, Confluent cluster by myself. And um, here, first, let's take a look at the Kafka topics. So we have three Kafka topics, Salesforce contacts. That's in the end um, what we get um, from the change data capture from the Salesforce CRM. So this is ingested as a JSON file with a schema under the hood. And um, this is actually, I would say, a, a pretty complex um, um, data set because it's sending out all the data which we get from um, Salesforce here, as you see in this um, schema from the Salesforce connector. And as we don't care about all of that, so with Flink under the hood, which I will show you in a minute, we are um, processing the data and generate our lead. So the lead is um, a much more straightforward uh, data structure in a new Kafka topic. This is um, what's in the end after the streaming ETL, and this is what we use um, as good data quality and simple, so that we can use that, as you see here, with um, the name, with the first and last name, and also the, the, the company that this person is working on. So it's really straightforward. Keep it as simple as possible. And still, we have the schema behind it. This is um, a real data contract for good data quality and for all the data governance and lineage capabilities you can use on the platform on top. And last but not least, the most interesting topic for this demo of generative AI is the um, My Calls topic. This is, in the end, the content that generative AI with Langchain and OpenAI generates for me. And once again, it sends it to a Kafka topic. And this is a great thing because with the Kafka topic now, we can use this generated data wherever we want. Send it via Slack to a, to a person. We can create speech out of that, or we can store it somewhere else in a data lake or feed some of the data even back to Salesforce CRM with another connector. Talking about connectors, here you also see our deployed um, Salesforce connector. In this case, we're using change data capture. And with this CDC connector, as soon as another system writes into Salesforce database, we push it into Kafka for real-time processing. And last but not least, let's also take a look at the Flink deployment. In this case, you see we have here a Flink compute pool. This is in the end a serverless offering, so um, it scales up and down. You don't need to worry about that. And here we have deployed one Flink statement. And um, this Flink statement, again, is pretty straightforward, right? So you see here it's an insert query, um, where in the end we have a streaming ETL process to enrich existing information from the Salesforce object. And we only use the relevant information in good data quality and ingest it into yet another Kafka topic. So pretty straightforward, but of course, um, with Flink, this can be much, much more powerful. And not just like here, a stateless event, but you can also do very powerful stateful stream processing at any scale in this serverless offering. So this is how the setup looks like. And now um, let's go to the terminal. Here you see in the end the application running under the hood where we are waiting for new data sets. And before we go back here, let me now um, generate a new event. So 
be your Salesforce again. And in this case, you see my colleague Carsten Mützlitz who created the demo. This is now important context for you so that you know um, what the LLM is doing. Because here now, um, what we're doing with the scraper is we collect the data from Salesforce so that the, the, the large language model of OpenAI, which doesn't know the context, gets the right prompt with this information about Carsten. And as you see, as the most important part here in the history of Carsten, um, before joining Confluent four and a half years ago, he worked for Oracle for over 24 years. And um, this is what we will see what the um, large language model will use with the right context so that um, the, the sales cold call will have the icebreaker information about, hey, if you reach out to Carsten, maybe talk a little bit about the Oracle history, which makes total sense and is context specific. And with this now, um, what I'm now here in the Salesforce developer environment, which is again free. So I already created another colleague of mine here for testing with um, Perry, um, where we got very different generated content from the LLM because um, Perry's LinkedIn profile looks different. So here, for example, we got a few icebreakers about Perry's languages because he's not just speaking German and English, but he's also speaking Dutch fluent. And so the Gen AI model used this information. For Carsten, this will look different. So what I will now do is I create a new lead. And so um, in this case, again, it's Hello World, right? So I'm just doing um, Carsten um, Mützlitz and I'm adding the Confluent as a company and I'm saving this. So again, this is really Hello World. And um, here now we have one more lead, which is Carsten. And again, this is now stored in the Salesforce database. In the real world, this is coming from other marketing tools and other interfaces. You ingest the data into Salesforce and Salesforce doesn't only provide APIs with SOAP or REST in the meantime, but also eventing interfaces. So what I did here in my Salesforce account is I uh, configured or um, activated the change data capture capability so that you can push events out of here in real time. And this is exactly what's happening after we create this event here. It's um, directly being ingested into the terminal here, or actually into the Kafka topic via the connector. And now this terminal here on the right side, you see this is the Python application consuming from this Kafka topic. And you see here now um, where Langchain starts its agent, and the agent now starts the conversation with OpenAI and the large language model. First, in the end, actually, um, it uses the, the scraper tools with um, connecting to Google and LinkedIn to searching for the profile here. So here we see it's crawling for data and then it's receiving data from LinkedIn. And after it did this, then it asked the large language model a question about Carsten. And um, with this in the end, this agent of Langchain created this conversation with the large language model um, with the background and template we gave Langchain. And in this case, as I said before, we are creating a short summary about uh, Carsten, two interesting facts, um, a topic um, to talk about, and then the two icebreakers. And here specifically, you see, um, with the context that Carsten worked for Oracle for a long time, um, the, the large language model, knowing this context from the prompt, it generates specific questions about um, Oracle to talk about to Carsten. And this is really the power of, of Gen AI with um, providing the right context. Because the OpenAI model don't know this or the context. So we need to feed it into this. And this is now where it's a, a great combination of that. And so if we now um, go back to uh, Confluent Cloud, where we um, take a look at the, the content here, we can uh, see how that looks like here. It's, it's in the end the same content, right? But just um, to show it to you here, we're going to our Kafka cluster. And here, if we go to the Kafka topic of the my calls, which is in the end the generated content. Here you see um, that in real time, um, the Kafka topic consumed the data from um, the generative AI model via Langchain. The structure here doesn't look that good, right? Of course you um, can, can improve that more, but this is exactly what the generative AI model um, generated with the context from the prompt. And so Langchain in the end had this agent with this stateful conversation and then feeds the data back into the Kafka topic. And from here then we can use it for sending it via a Slack message to the sales rep, or we can store some of the data back in Salesforce, or in parallel we can ingest it into a data lake or into Snowflake or anything else. So I think this is really a pretty powerful demo because it shows how the data streaming architecture, which is real time and scalable, can connect to any kind of system, real time or not, and correlate the data. 
And so this is really a best practice. Don't see stream processing or data streaming just as a real-time infrastructure. No, it provides the data consistency between real-time and non-real-time systems. So in this case, from the CRM side on the left, it's a push notification in real-time, change data capture. But long chain at the top, well, this is maybe near real-time, right? And um, it takes some time until it generates the code. But that's okay because that's how the system is built. It decouples everything and as soon as the processing is finished, it sends it back to another Kafka topic and from there it can be consumed by other applications. My last note here is that obviously this is a Halo World demo and in the real world you might combine this architecture with more advanced Gen AI tools like a specific vector database like um, what, whatever is there like Pinecone right or a MongoDB or Oracle that supports vectors in the meantime and also maybe some some um, more advanced technologies for semantic search because this is all hello world here but this scales because it's all based on serverless environments the heart is real time and Kafka also decouples all the other systems. So this is really, really powerful, but still super easy to build. And so I think this is a great demo that Karsten has built and where I now show it to you. And I'm really excited about the combination of data streaming and generative AI. And I think we will see a lot more like this in the real world across all industries. I hope you learned something here. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn and Twitter to stay in touch. Thanks a lot for watching and enjoy data streaming and generative AI together.